My name is Daniela Schrack and I'm working at the Johannes Kepler University in Linz as a research associate. Initially, I studied economies at the Johannes Kepler University and I specialized in marketing and environmental management. My master thesis was about regional networks and their contribution to sustainability. Um, yeah, and after having worked for one and a half year in the area of market research, I started working um, at the Institute for Environmental Management in Companies and Regions at the uh, JKU in Linz. Uh, yeah, and there I focused on environmental management accounting, which is my research topic. Um, so environmental management accounting focuses on the accounting for uh, environmental impacts and costs and includes tools like um, environmental cost accounting, life cycle costing or life cycle assessment and also material flow cost accounting in short NFCA. Um, yeah, and I'm also teaching at the Johannes Kepler University. Um, I'm teaching courses environmental and quality management, um, environmental management accounting and reporting and also sustainability reporting. Um, yeah, in my lessons I try to give the students an overview of environmental management accounting, um, how important it is for enterprises um, how it can be implemented within a company and which tools can be used in order to reach certain environmental objectives. Yeah, and as I already said, my special research topic is uh, environmental management accounting with the focus on material flow cost accounting. So I also do my PhD, my dissertation on the topic MFCA. Um, maybe it's just some words about what MFCA is. Um, material flow cost accounting also belongs to environmental management accounting and combines um, an economic uh, and an environmental perspective, although the focus is very strong on the economic perspective. Um, so the aim of MFCA is to increase the transparency of material flows within a company and to assess all these material flows uh, by terms of costs. Um, so you have a look on all the production costs in a company, not only including the material costs, but also including energy costs, system costs and waste management costs. So the purpose of MFCA is to show um, cost saving potentials, which, really, um, yeah, which relate to reducing the waste within the production processes. And by reducing the waste, um, yeah, you cannot only cut the waste management costs, and that's the special idea of material flow cost accounting. So you can also cut the material costs because before you have to buy uh, the material, which becomes then waste, and you also can cut the energy costs and the system cost costs, which are labor costs or handling costs, for example. So uh, material flow cost accounting shows you what you could save in monetary terms if you produced in a more efficient way. Um, so it is all about material efficiency and energy efficiency. Um, there has also been published an ISO standard, uh, especially on material flow cost accounting um, in September 2011. Um, and it can be seen as a guideline which tells companies what MFCA is and how it can be implemented uh, in the company. So um, my research questions within my dissertations are aim at enhancing this existing tool, the material flow cost accounting. And one question is about the enlargement of MFCA to the supply chain, which means I try to uh, insert a life cycle perspective into the method of MFCA. Um, the second research question is uh, whether MFCA is also applicable in the recycling and waste industry. I mean, by now it is a perfect tool um, for the manufacturing industry, um, but what about recycling and waste disposal companies? So I also did a case example on this topic. And the third question is whether it is useful to also include um, external environmental costs into the method, as by now um, only already internalized costs are regarded within the method. Um, and another question is how can environmental impacts be included into the method uh, in order to give material flow cost accounting a more environmental direction.
Yeah, um, the background for using material flow cost accounting um, is that um, resource or material efficiency or in general eco-efficiency and the responsible use of resources is a very important topic, especially in Europe, um, which is highly dependent on imports of uh, special kinds of resources. So eco-efficiency or resource efficiency has two dimensions. It has a ecological dimension and an economic dimension. And the aim is to decouple um, the economic output from the environmental impacts. Yeah, um, and these are the use of resources or the production of waste and emission, for example. So on the one hand, material flow cost accounting helps companies to cut costs it shows the management in terms of money which costs could be saved um, if they produced less waste or less emissions. Uh, and it does not only focus on the waste management costs, so, um, this, which are directly connected to the removal of the waste. Uh, it takes also into consideration the material costs, the energy costs, the storing costs or um, handling costs, um, yeah, um, which are connected with the production of the waste. So. Um, this cost-saving information is very important for companies um, because cost or saving costs makes you being more competitive. And I think that's a very important point. Um, the main issue, unfortunately, is that when it comes um, to cost savings, managers often think uh, of cutting labor costs. And however, in the manufacturing industry, often the material costs are um, the main fraction of the total costs. So I'm um, making up sometimes more than 60 or 70 percent of the total costs. Um, so it, when, when it comes to cost savings, managers should think about cutting material costs rather than cutting labor costs, um, because this is also an, yeah, a social issue of sustainability in a way. On the other hand, working more um, efficiently with the resources and energy um, has a positive outcome for sustainability or also for the environment. So by increasing the resource efficiency, companies can help to reduce the environmental impact and to safeguard resources. Um, yeah, and in that way, companies um, can overtake social and also environmental responsibility uh, and act in a more sustainable way, which is, I think, very important for the future. Um, it helps uh, the companies to continuously improve um, their environmental performance. And companies can, of course, report uh, about their measures and about their success in improving the resource efficiency, uh, which is also very important for the stakeholders like the consumers or the um, public. Uh, and by the way, yeah, they get more competitive because they can save costs and they have a better cost structure than their competitors. Um, yeah, in my research, I try to not only apply material flow cost accounting in the manufacturing industry. Um, so for me, it is also interesting if it is applicable in the waste and recycling industry and which adoptions have to be done uh, in order to apply it uh, within waste and recycling or recycling waste disposal companies. So waste management takes a very important role uh, within a sustainable society. Um, so as long consumers and manufacturers produce waste, um, the recycling and waste management will be important. So within my dissertation, I developed several models uh, referring to my three research questions I mentioned before. One model is about applying the MFCA in the waste industry. Um, and by means of a case example, I try to apply this model um, in an existing company in order to see how it works and what the limitations are. So um, the case example is a waste digestion plant, uh, which means um, they use organic waste uh, in a thermophilic fermentation uh, in order to produce biogas, um, which is then converted into electricity and useful heat. So there are several processes I analyzed. Um, so about 20,000 tons of bio waste from the municipal uh, organic waste bins and also industrial kitchen waste enter the system. 
which means it is delivered, it is comminuted and it is sent to a reactor where the biogas is produced. Uh, we also have a decanter uh, which divides the waste into solid and fluent components and we of course have a gas engine which produces the electricity and the useful heat out of the biogas. So in my case example, I have to define properly the system boundaries, which is very important. Uh, and I have to define what are, uh, which outputs are the desirable ones, and this is the useful heat or the electricity, and which outputs are not desirable, like the wastewater, the screen overflow, the fermentation residue, um, carbon dioxide, or also heat loss. Yeah, and at the end, the case example shows that um, MFCA can also be applied in the waste and recycling industry. Um, and it can also give um, useful help for identifying inefficiencies in these companies um, within their process chain. So the results also show how important um, the correct drawing of the system boundaries is. So that was also a very interesting outcome. And um, that a sensitivity analysis is also a very uh, useful help in order to conduct the MFCA. Yeah, I think over the past few years, um, many examples have shown that MFCA um, is a very useful tool to identify inefficiencies within the companies and to show the saving potentials connected with uh, the reduction of waste. Um, although the idea has been invented in Germany, um, the most prominent cases come from Japan, actually, uh, where material flow cost accounting has been established successfully in more than 200 companies. Um, these cases show um, that the method works and that cost saving can be shown, um, which are normally hidden by using conventional cost accounting approaches, by the way. So, yeah, as MFCA can be applied by every manufacturer uh, using materials or energy, the application field is very wide and we also have seen that it can be applied um, into the waste and uh, recycling industry as well. Um, so it would also be a very promising tool for Australian companies, I think. Um, yes, especially regarding the point um, that the competition gets harder and harder and the Australian companies face a very strong competition from the Asian companies, um, who most of the time have lower costs, like lower labor costs, resource efficiency becomes very important for the Austrian companies too. So if they are not able to keep up with the lower labor costs, why don't they try to increase their material or energy efficiency in order to reduce the costs? So I think that's uh, an important question. And yeah, focusing on increasing this material and energy efficiency would lead to a competitive advantage. Um, over the long term, and especially when you bear in mind um, that resources become scarcer and probably um, the material costs will increase over the next 10 to 20 years. So a good thing about material flow cost accounting is that it is a tool which can be very easily implemented in a company and it helps the company save money by simultaneously reducing the environmental impacts. And this win-win situation yeah, should also be recognized by the practice and it should not stay in an academic discussion, I think. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's why it is very important to bring the idea to the companies and yeah, to try to implement the MFCA also in Australian companies.